Hounded by the army and pushed from their traditional lands, the Apaches hid out in the high mountains of northern Arizona and scratched out a meager existence. They naturally distrusted us whites. My brother's cold and angry dispositions didn't help any. Ray didn't like the way the young braves looked at Marissa. He was restless and on edge, and I was afraid that at any moment he might blow. I wanted to go before there was bloodshed, but seeing farther wanted to speak to us alone. About what, I wasn't sure, but I suspected that none of it would come to any good. I know why you're here, and what you want. The medallion. I can help you. Why would you want to help us get the medallion? My father wants to use it to buy weapons for a war against the White Eyes. What will the fate of our people be if he succeeds? The Apache will be no more. So you just gonna go fetch it for us? No. But I will show you where it is. You don't have the medallion here? The medallion is cursed. As I have told you before, our ancestors took it from a Mexican priest in return for his life. Soon after, a great sickness ravaged our village. Many died. One of the survivors traded it to the Navajo for food, and the Navajo too were ravaged by sickness. Their medicine man saw that the medallion had dark power. He drowned it in a lake high in the mountains. His people guard it to this day. So, Running River was trading a medallion he didn't even have? He intended to show you its resting place. He hoped it would bring bad medicine to you as well. And in the process, bring hell down on the Navajo? We are sworn enemies. <laughs> well, that's pretty cagey. Two dead enemies for the price of one. How do we know you're not sending us to die in those mountains, too? Because I am going with you. For without my help, you would not find it. Partner, I hope you're not bullshitting us. Because if this is some lying Apache trick, it'll be the last one you ever pull. I hate boats. I hate water. Would you stop your whining? Jesus. The fact you hate water is pretty damn obvious. You smell like the inside of an old boot. It, like you smell any better. You both smell bad. Your stink almost covered up the smoke. Smoke? Where? Here. Everywhere. We're in Navajo territory. The village has to be close. Uh, you didn't say nothing? What were you waiting for? An arrow in the back? The Navajo have mainly rifles now. What? If the village is close, we will see some lookouts. Watch the shore. Here they are, on the left-hand side. Do not let anyone get away or they will tell the village you are here. Here they are. Kill them all! Take him out. Damn, brother, save some for me. It ain't my fault you're so damn slow. Is that all of them? That's all, I guess. Tell me, Chief. So that medallion's on the bottom of the lake? Yes. Somewhere high in the mountains. Oh, great. So, why are we going to the village? We go where the spirit of the Grey Coyote leads us. Spirit of the what? There. Well, son of a bitch. Are you telling me that we are being led by a damn dog? The Grey Coyote. The spirit of my great-grandfather who sold the medallion to the Navajo. He wants us to go through the village. This way. Now keep quiet.
Let's go. Nice and quiet. Come and look. Keep close. Only if you are awake. Maybe we can slip through without being seen. Your furry grandpa tell you that? You hear that? It's coming from the mountains. We have to take the path of the dead. Okay, but I don't like the sound of that. It's where the Navajo lay their dead to rest. We'll go to the burial ground, but we must stay silent so as not to awaken any dark spirits. Follow me. Oh, you scared of ghosts, brother. I'm more worried about the live ones. It's too quiet. Let me give you a hand up. Wait here. Watch out! Oh, they spotted us. Hurry! We must get to the path of the dead. Where the hell did they all come from? Surrounding us. Let's move. Go, go! Whoa! Good job! Well, that should hold them for a while. Go up! Now, we have to cross the Navajo burial ground. It's an ambush. Find some cover. They're behind the rocks. Let's make those yellow bellies sorry they were ever born. Come on! Let's unload some lead on these pickers. Thanks for saving my bacon. If I can avoid catching some of theirs. We're on the front. Right. Take cover. Up above. Need some help. I think all that practice is starting to pay off. 